Welcome to the world where learning becomes an adventure. Today, we're diving deep into the human body, unlocking the secrets of anatomy and physiology. If you're a student, a lifelong learner, or just curious about how our bodies function, you're in the right place. Before we start, hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and let's embark on this journey together. Ready to revolutionize your study routine? Let's go. Studying anatomy and physiology can be as complex as the human body itself. But fear not. With the right strategies, it's not just manageable, it can be fascinating. Stay tuned as we unravel the top tips to master these subjects. And don't forget to share your own strategies in the comments below. Tip number one, create a study schedule. The body thrives on rhythm, and so does your brain. Establishing a routine is like setting a pace for your heart crucial for endurance. Plan out your study sessions like a workout routine for your mind. Consistency is key. Start by mapping out your week. Identify your free slots and assign dedicated study periods. Remember, short, regular sessions beat long, irregular cramming. And always, always allow time for breaks your brain will thank you for it. Tip number two. Use visual aids. They say a picture is worth a thousand words. And when it comes to anatomy, this couldn't be more true. Visual aids transform abstract information into tangible images, making complex structures comprehensible. Invest in a good anatomy atlas or use online resources with interactive models. Seeing the body in 3D can bridge the gap between theory and reality, turning the invisible into something you can almost touch. And for physiology, flowcharts and diagrams can simplify even the most intricate processes. Watching the journey of a red blood cell or the dance of neurotransmitters across a synapse can turn learning into a visual feast. Tip number three, employ mnemonics. Mnemonics are not just memory tricks. They're the secret language of learners. They turn lists of bones into a story, a sequence of nerves into a song. With mnemonics, you're not just memorizing, you're engaging with the content. Take the cranial nerves, for instance. Oh, 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 to touch and feel very green vegetables, A-H. This quirky phrase holds the key to their order, and with each O-and, you'll lock in that knowledge. Let's recap what we've covered so far and what's coming up next. We've laid the foundation with scheduling, visualized our subjects, and created mnemonic masterpieces. Stay with us as we explore the art of teaching to learn, flashcard finesse, and the power of quizzes. Hit pause if you need to catch up, and don't forget to comment below with your favorite mnemonic, let's learn from each other. Now, gear up for tip number four, teach to learn. This is where knowledge gets active. When you teach a concept, you're not just reciting facts, you're explaining, questioning, and understanding at a deeper level. Set up a study group, find a study buddy, or even talk to your pet. It doesn't matter who the audience is. The act of teaching reinforces your learning and identifies gaps in your knowledge. And tip number five, utilize flashcards. This old school technique has new school efficiency. Flashcards harness the power of active recall and space repetition, two cornerstones of memory science. Each flashcard you flip is a step closer to mastery. But what about putting that knowledge to the test? That leads us to tip number six, practicing with quizzes. Quizzes are the gym for your memory. Each question a weight that strengthens your recall muscle. Regular self-quizzing can illuminate the corners of your mind, bringing forgotten information back into the spotlight. It's not just about right or wrong. It's about learning from each question, each answer. Gather your study group because we're moving on to tip number seven, studying in groups. The power of collaboration can take your understanding to new heights. Exchange ideas, challenge each other, and watch as complex concepts become clear through discussion. As you discuss and debate, you're not just learning, you're also teaching, and we already know the power that holds. Plus, it's a great way to stay motivated and connected. And what about making it all stick? That's where tip number eight, relating to real life, comes into play. Connecting concepts to your experiences 
transforms them from abstract to concrete, from forgettable to memorable. Imagine you're baking a cake. The recipe is like a protocol for a cellular process. Ingredients combine and react, temperatures change states, just as in the body. These real-world analogies can make complex ideas relatable and much easier to digest pun intended. Breaking down the insurmountable into bite-sized pieces is the essence of tip number nine, breaking down complex topics. Just like the body is a collection of systems, your study topics are a series of interconnected ideas. Take it step by step. Master the basics before you build on them. It's not about racing to the finish line. It's about laying down a solid foundation of understanding, one concept at a time. With the internet at your fingertips, tip number 10, leveraging online resources, becomes a powerful ally. Online tutorials, virtual labs, and forums bring a world of knowledge to your screen. But remember, it's not just about consuming content, it's about interacting with it. Engage with educators, ask questions, and participate in discussions. Make the most of these resources by being an active learner, not a passive observer. As we continue our learning odyssey, don't forget to pause and reflect. Consolidate your knowledge with tip number 11, consolidating information. After each study session, take a moment to summarize what you've learned in your own words. This act of rephrasing and summarizing is a powerful tool for retention. It's like telling the story of your learning journey, with you as both the narrator and the hero. Organization is the scaffold that supports your educational structure. That brings us to tip number 12, staying organized. Keep your notes, your schedule, and your goals in clear view. A tidy mind starts with a tidy workspace. And finally, tip number 13, prioritizing self-care. This might be the last tip, but it's far from the least. You can't pour from an empty cup, so fill yours with good nutrition, plenty of sleep, and regular exercise. You've got the tools, the strategies, and the community right here to support you. Now it's time to put these tips into action. As we wrap up, Let's reflect on what we've learned and how we can apply it to our studies. Remember, the journey of learning is personal and unique to each of us. What works for one may not work for another, so it's crucial to try out these strategies and see which ones resonate with you the most. If you found a particular tip helpful or have one of your own to share, drop it in the comments below. We're all in this learning community together, and your insights could be the key to someone else's success. As we conclude, remember that knowledge is power, but only if you wield it. Take these tips, use them as your armor and sword, and become the champion of your own education. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If you've enjoyed this video and learned something new, please like, share, and subscribe for more content like this. Together, we can make learning an unforgettable adventure. And don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our latest videos. Share your study journey, and let's continue to grow and learn together. Until next time, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep learning. See you in the next video.